Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you an alternative to requests in Python. It's called HTTPX, and it combines the simplicity for HTTP requests as the request package does, but it also gives you a few extra things like the ability to use async and await. So on the screen at the moment, I have an asynchronous script that basically goes out and gets some information from this API here based on the episode ID. You can see we have our async function and then our, our tasks are gathered here and we get the results back. Now this is using the HTTPX async client and it has these things called event hooks here. Now the event hook is another really cool feature of HTTPX because it lets you basically put some code in that happens at the time of the request to the server and also at the time of the response. Now in this basic use case, I've just followed the documentation and I'm basically putting in some kind of basic logging into so we can see what happens when we make this uh, request. Before we go through this a bit more, I wanna show you one of the other reasons why I like this package so much. And that's because if you don't actually need to do the async and await stuff right now, you can still use it to mimic what request does with a very simple request. So I'm just gonna import both of them at the top and we're gonna show you, and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So let's have our URL here as uh, HTTP bin. So we'll do HTTPS http bin.org and we're going to go to the headers one which is going to show us the headers that we sent with this so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do what you would normally do r is equal to requests dot get and then pass in the url and then print out the r dot text value so we can see that the headers coming back and we run this we get our headers back here and we can see that we are python requests now, if we wanted to do this using HTTPX, it's almost exactly the same. So we just do r is equal to HTTPX.get and give it the URL. And we'll print out the text value as well. And you'll see that when we get it back, we get two requests completed. This one just has the user agent of HTTPX. Now this for me was the main reason why I like this so much because you can just mimic requests, but you also have the added bonus of not having to change everything around if you need to use async. Now I've covered AIO HTTP before, which is an asynchronous HTTP um, uh, package in Python. But that doesn't have the simplicity that this does here that we can use if we just need a really quick example. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna copy over this headers here and put this at the top. This is just my user agent and I'm gonna show you that you can do headers is equal to headers in the same way in both of these packages. And when we run this, we'll get exactly the same response back because I've given it a real user agent, which is something that you'll definitely wanna be doing. The other thing that I wanted to have a look at before we go back to the async version is just to talk briefly about sessions. So a session you would want to use if you're making multiple requests to the same server in the same script because you can reuse the underlying TCP connection and it makes it much quicker and much better to do. Now, if you wanted to do that with requests, you would do with requests dot session we would use the session object that needs to be a capital and we would do as s and we'll just do it like this then we'll just indent this code and we'll do s dot get here now this works exactly the same way with httpx so we'll do with http x dot client with a capital c please and that is our client session so this is how you would do it if you were using a session object, I'm just going to make that one SH, not SSH. We'll do HS, there we go, and we'll put this in here. Now this is just how you would use a session object. It's very similar and it's nice and easy, but it's definitely something you want to consider doing if you're making lots of requests to the server. And this kind of leads on to the next thing, which is the async client here, which we would use to make this async. Now this is the example that I've got here and you can see that this is where the kind of the session comes into play because we are querying this API uh, several times for some information we want to use the same session and because we're coming in way under the rate limit for the amount we're asking for we're going to use the async function. Now if we were testing when I was making this code to start with I was testing using it just like this and then the great thing was as I said I was able to just turn this into an async function nice and easy without having to redo all of it. Now I'm going to come back to this in a minute and the event hooks. So we're just going to 
pass over that and I'm going to come back to that. But all we're doing here is we have an async function for getting the episode by the ID, which then just goes at the end of the URL. Very standard stuff if you're used to working with requests or any kind of HTTP or API. All we're doing then is we're just appending our results, the JSON response into a list. And then within our async main function, we're basically just tasking, getting all the tasks together. You can see this is where I'm saying how many episodes. So one to uh, 11, so one to 10 in this case because of the indexing. And then we basically run that with our async io dot run main function here. And obviously I've imported async io at the top. Let's just collapse these out of the way. So I'm just going to run what I've got so far and you'll see that we get some information back here. Now I've not actually printing out the actual responses. I'm just printing out the number 10, which shows how long our list is uh, of responses. So you can see that we're storing it all in this results list. And that's basically saying I've got 10 separate results in there. Now this is the bit that I was talking about just a minute ago. This information is all coming from the event uh, hook here. So we have the ability to pass in event hooks. Now I think this is really cool and really useful. Um, what we're doing is we can have the option to run some code on our request and on the response that we get from the server. Now I just copied the documentation example here, which was kind of like a log request. And all we're doing is we're printing out what we get. But you can see we have access to the request method and the request URL, which is what we can see down here. So when you pass these in, they basically, you have a request and a response, and you can pass in what we've got here. So we've got the log request and the log response. That gives us this output that we can now just see. We have made the requests here, one to 10. You can see the responses we got back. So, so far I have been enjoying HTTPX. It gives you the option to keep it nice and simple like you would do with requests, pass in all your headers, your proxies, any kind of JSON data that you may need to send as well, that all works. But when you need to, you can just change it up and use the async client without having to change to a, uh, something else like AI or HTTP. So if you've enjoyed this video, I think you'll enjoy this one as well.